This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. There's some really great tricks for viewing the cost, the totals, if you will, of your project. So I want to take just a few moments and show you where you can find them. One of them, I'm sure you already know, but I just want to make sure. So we go into the project, and my project is in progress. So I have some project line items that are completed, and Johnny's working on finishing up on his. So what I want to look at is what's going on with my project, what's happening in the project two places that I can find this next option. One of them is if I go to File and in the Info tab, Project Information, Project Statistics, this is the dialog box that gives me all kinds of great information. So it lets me know about my cost totals in the last column here. Currently, it's that much. My baseline, ooh, I'm on target. Those two match. That means I'm on target. And I've already spent $1,404.80. I still have $15,827.20 to go. That is a fantastic little window there that gives you a lot of great detail for your project. Oh, and by the way, I have finished 22% of the duration, the days, and I've finished 8% of the hours of work. So I'll go ahead and click on close on that one. Back to my project. You can also find on the project ribbon, project information. That same button there, but it's a little longer. So you hit project information and then statistics at the bottom. And you click on statistics, same dialog box. So it simply depends on where you want to access the dialog box. Go ahead and close that. Well, maybe you'd rather have costs right here on your page, right here on the screen. This is such a great little trick. This table right here is the data entry table, but you can actually change the view of just your table. Well, you already know that you can change your view over here. You can switch over to the tracking Gantt if you want to be tracking what's going on with your project. Oh, hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm still on my baseline, and since this item is no longer critical, it's finished. It's not red. It turned to blue. All the rest of them, they're still critical. Still need to get those done. So I can look at this view, you already know that. Now this view, or if I go back to Gantt chart view, it doesn't matter. They both have tables, and many other views do as well. So where you're going to go is just move your way down the ribbon on the view ribbon to the data group, and here's a group for tables. And so what you do is you just drop this down, and there are multiple tables that are available for you. And one of the tables is cost. So let's drag, drag this out, and now you can see per line you can see all the costs. You can see the fixed, the total, the baseline, the variance is off of the baseline, the actual, and the remaining. And that is for each line in the project. So the summary lines, each one of the summary lines, let me roll up a summary line or two. So each one of the summary lines hold the summary, and then each one of the individual lines hold the individual totals. It's a really, really great tool. Now remember, that's just on view, tables. Your original table, entry. So you can switch it back to entry, and that is the original table that you were using when you were creating all these wonderful bars out here in your Gantt chart. Well, what if we switch over to resource sheet? So we'll switch to resource sheet, and now in your resource sheet, this was your entry table, right? It's how you entered information into your resources. Well, look, same group, same tables. So you say, well, show me the cost table. And when you click on cost, I love this. This is fantastic. It says, okay, well, so far, Sherry has cost you $800, but she's scheduled to cost you $5,600 for this project, so you're still going to spend another $4,800 on Sherry and the others as well. So, so my, you've already spent money on my, and you've already spent money on Johnny. The other people, any of the other people that are assigned to this project, they haven't spent any money yet. They're not highlighted. Isn't that fantastic? Tables cost. That's how you do that. You simply say whichever view you are in, whether it's tracking Gantt, the Gantt chart, the resource sheet, any view that you are in that holds a table, work your way down the view ribbon, down to the data section, and see what kind of tables you have. Now, you're definitely going to want to check some of these others out because there's some other great tables that are here and available as well. But 
mostly for resources, I think you'll use the cost and the entry because they are just so fantastic. So now when you want to see a little bit more detail about what your project is costing, try changing the tables and then don't forget about your project summary. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.